Two, let's breeze through this. 21 Jump Street. Absolutely hilarious. Better than 22 Jump Street. 22 Jump Street was good, but that's, that 21 Jump Street's better. Uh, there was two movies of this kind that came out around the same time. There was Olympus Has Fallen and this one. White House Down. Another Quentin Tarantino film. Jackie Brown. I don't care what anybody has to say about these movies. I feel Sony finally did it right with these. People still poop on them, and I don't get why, and you people are stupid. Who do? So, that's my opinion of it. Um, I absolutely hate the Tobey Maguire films, and these are so much better. The Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man. Fuck you, Ben. These movies are great. So, yes. And then, of course, Amazing Spider-Man number two. Another awesome film. Don't care what you guys think. <laughs> and then we got Iron Man, which my, and then I have also have the Avengers. I am trying to get the entire run of Marvel movies, but for whatever reason, in Ohio, like all the Thor movies, all the Captain America movies, all the Iron Man movies are like astronomically expensive. They're all like thirty, thirty-five dollars, and I'm not paying that. <laughs> Continuing, another one that's still in the wrapper that I need to watch. Uh, Man of Steel, awesome, awesome movie, finally did Superman right, continue, um, yeah, let's go this way, yeah, one of my favorite movies, Warrior, I have a uh, serious man crush on Tom Hardy, Another movie I haven't uh, seen yet, so I bought it. It's still in the wrapper, as you see. Uh, I won a Best Picture, and I'm really not sure how I've seen it, because I've seen almost every war movie out there. This is uh, The Hurt Locker. So we'll see how that one is. Probably my second favorite war movie behind uh, Black Hawk Down. This is Lone Survivor. Absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome movie. And another must-own. And another Tom Hardy movie. <laughs> this is Inception. Probably the best actor in Hollywood, I would probably have to say. One, one of them, if not the best. Daniel Day-Lewis in There Will Be Blood. And then, What Up, Ben? Your boy. Gangs of New York. Another movie I still haven't watched yet, because it's pretty much over three hours long. And, yeah, that's, that's a really long time to just sit and watch a movie. But I have it. Casino. And then I have the Goodfellas Digibook. The, it also comes with uh, the original Public Enemies. Like I said, it's got it's, it's got books and pictures and shit. Goodfellas. I was re I was reading a, a thing the other day, and it said most overrated films of all time, and it was like all the best movies. Like Goodfellas was number one, and I'm like. Fuck you. <laughs> the Town, probably my favorite Ben Affleck movie. And Jeremy Renner. Absolutely love this. Love it. I need to get the first two. I absolutely... I like the first three, but I can't stand Shia LaBeouf. So I've been kind of putting it off. But this is Transformers Dark of the Moon. Said I cannot stand Shia LaBeouf. At all. So I thought this one was awesome, and it, which kind of pisses me off because it apparently has been nominated for like every worst movie of the year category. Which, whatever. Transformers Age of Extinction. Probably my favorite movie of all time. Hands down. Probably my favorite one. 
I'm gonna hold on to that one actually. And then uh, American Psycho, which it's American Psycho. What more can you really say about it? American Psycho, you know. And then yeah, let's just do it. My favorite movie of all time. Um, story is very near and dear to me because uh, it takes place in my hometown, and uh, I love it. But this is the story of Danny Green, Kill the Irishman. Absolutely awesome, awesome movie. I love it. So yes, probably my favorite movie ever. I just, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Now, I am an obsession with steelbooks. <laughs> I'm going to get into this, not waste any more of your time. I have Sherlock Holmes. As you see, these steelbooks, they're, they're metal. They're awesome, and I love them, and I, I'm just going to keep buying them. I have Sherlock Holmes. A movie that I think that gets pooped on, which I think is unfair because I didn't think it was that bad. Total Recall, the remake with Colin Farrell. And then I have Resident Evil. Another movie series that I think needs to be put to rest, which they finally are. And then I have Resident Evil Apocalypse. And then I have Extinction. So I may as well just get the entire Resident Evil run steelbooks. And then I have Clash of the Titans. An awesome back cover. Absolutely piece of garbage movie, but I got this for like three dollars, so I said bug it. <laughs> Superman Returns. And most of these I got recently now. I got Clash of the Cl Clash of the Titans, the three Resident Evils, and then most of these. The Wolverine. Yeah. And then Watchmen. It's uh, the comedian falling out of his, uh, his apartment. An absolute classic. So, uh, shout out to Mike Gathman. Pulp Fiction. Bang. Another one of my favorite movies ever. The Departed. Another classic. This is the uh, limited edition 25th anniversary. I think 25th anniversary. Scarface. Awesome back. Bang, bang. And then... I gotta take this off. I have a rubber band to hold the, the back paper. But these last four, I want to get this entire movie series in, in Steelbooks. I need four, I think. But I found this one over the weekend, and I fell in love, and I bought it. This is Batman Returns. The original movie cover. I'll have to put that one back together. And then I have the Nolan series. Batman Begins. Steel. These are all steel books, like I said. The uh, the worst of the three, but it was still a very very good movie. Uh, my favorite steel book in my entire collection, I'd say. This is the Dark Knight. And this is probably the reason why. So badass. <laughs> Love it. And then finally, 
Dark Knight Rises. Another Tom Hardy movie. <laughs> so yeah, that is it. That is my movies. Uh, Blu-ray, steelbooks, DVDs, whatever. Thank you all for watching. Thank you, Ben, for show, uh, throwing this PC Showcase week. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go to sleep because I have to be at work in like eight hours. So yeah, later, guys.